All right, this is Joseph D here. A couple days ago, Firearms Rescue put out a video about ammunition box art and what he thought was nicer looking boxes and pretty much like plain looking boxes. So this is like a video response to that anyway. I'm gonna start out with the boxes I think are like the ugly ammunition boxes. Here's a Remington UMC 9mm, just, I don't know, Mega Pack. It's like the only thing that looks, that's nice about it. Here's some 9mm Tula ammo. You know, just ugly looking, but it's cheap ammo, so. Sometimes you don't worry about the box. And this is a... Uh, what was this one? Hmm. Oli Yen... Yenovsk? Yen I don't know how to say it, but... Some Russian company. 7.62 by 39 steel cased cheap ammo but it works like flawlessly so and the Winchester white box ammo this is 9 millimeter but it's yeah pretty plain looking only thing nice about it really is like the little guy on riding the horse it's kind of a little art in it, but it's really good ammo. Never had a problem with it ever. I've heard other people have problems with it, but they're probably just using it in a Glock, so you know that's why. <laughs> and here's a Federal. This one's a nine millimeter. Still, you know, it's an ugly looking box, but. It works, you know, it's cheap ammo and it works good. So, and then this what this Remington, um, it's a 40 Smith and Wesson hollow point, but 100 round, the 100 round pack. That's like the only thing that's good about this box. I've not tried this ammo, so I don't know if it's any good, but I've Watched a couple of videos of some other people using it. It seemed to have good expansion. So hopefully, when I use it, it'll work good too. Okay, throw those off to the side. Okay, now what I think is the more nicer-looking boxes. Um, here's a RWS nine millimeter. I don't know, it's kind of, I guess the orange kind of, and the black mixture and like the bullet kind of makes it look a little nicer. So, it's kind of pretty, I guess. <laughs> and the Fiocchi is somewhat plain looking, but since they had to put the bullet there, it made it kind of stand out. Looks a little nicer than other. However, I had a problem with this ammo using it with uh, my MMP. I had like five rounds out of this. One, I only bought one box, and five rounds out of it didn't even fire. So, oh, speak of ammo, that's. The don't use this ammo in an M and P because it's well crappy. Like half your bullets want to fire in it. Okay, here's a uh, Spear Gold Dot. This is like a the older box. They have a newer box now, but 
this is a 50 round one. It was really cheap. I only pen, paid 10 bucks. I mean, it's all the points, you know, gold dot hollow points are like one of the best. <laughs> but it was, you know, it's been quite a few years ago since I bought this box. It was a, at a gun show. And, well, look at it. It's gold. Who doesn't like gold? Okay. Here's a Remington. This is a 270. Cartridges. I think it looks a little, I don't know, kind of nice with the yellow and green put together. It's not super flashy, but, you know, it's better. And here's the Wolf 7.62 by 39. It's nice because it has the Wolf, you know. They actually put a little thought into the box. So, you know, it's cheap ammo. Works, like, perfectly, but... I don't know, it's kind of nice, I think. And then here's a an old Magtech. These are nine millimeter hollow points. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool that they just had them in these little plastic things. I had them for I think like two dollars or something for each, and I bought like ten of these. It was like online somewhere, I can't remember, but it's been a while back. And you you can see the bullets, so of course it's super cool. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all the different types of ammo I got, but except for, well, shotgun ammo, but maybe I'll show that some other day. Alright. Comment. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them, you know. All right, see you Don't later. forget to comment, rate, and unsubscribe. Yoda.